bang, man, lucky lands. You're ready for more. <clears throat> Ponza action, that's right. Try to get this epic hand every time in there. Just to show you guys, that is my anime pose, right? I see all the anime characters always doing things with their hands and arms and stuff like that. So I figure, you know, the children love anime, so I might as well get in on that, right? Uh, apparently, that's the most popular emos is make yourself look like a cartoon character. But, uh, sup, DJ? I'm not angry yet, but it's probably coming. Uh, like I said, my name's Lance, but more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. Major Riot is my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. If you're watching on Twitch, please are following. If you're watching on YouTube, please are subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Um, as you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I prefer to play Modern. I'll play other things. Sup, McVeeby? Glad you're here, man. Good to see you. Um... And when I play Modern, I just grind through leagues usually. I am going to Locals tomorrow with this deck, Ponza. Should be pretty fun. And, uh, you know, I usually do pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not too bad, usually. Um, so, uh, yeah. In, in the five decks I enjoy playing on Modern the most are Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis, Death Shot. What you see on your screen right now, Gruel Ponza Midrange. Gruel Ponza Midrange is, is my favorite. It's the one I have the most experience with, I guess. Not really. That's not kind of inaccurate, but... You know, it's the one that I enjoy playing the most. I think it's just the funnest and, uh, you know, that good good stuff. Uh, I have played this three weeks in a row. I am playing this, by the way, on Saturday. Letting people know I will be participating in the Showcase Super Qualifier Challenge, whatever the hell it is. I will be in that with this deck. So hopefully it'll do better than the version I tried on Sunday in the Super Qualifier. I shouldn't have played that. I gave into the hype. I should never give in the hype. Always question authority question the internet at all times um anyways let's take a look at the weather i know people are always excited for the weather report let's see here weather in ravensdale conditions are sunny with a temperature of 87 degrees the wind is blowing from the north northwest at seven miles per hour and the current humidity is 31 percent. so yes tomorrow's gonna be the really hot day so it's be like 91 tomorrow and then it rapidly cools like what we do here around in the Seattle area. It's like all of a sudden it's just like 90. And you're like, oh my God. I remember it got up to 114 that one day. And you're like, oh my God, everyone's dying. And then like two days later, it's like, oh, it's like 75. Hmm. All the trees are sunburned. It's pretty weird looking. Um, anyways, uh, we are still at 169 followers on Twitch. But we did go up two subscribers on YouTube. So we're now at 233. So thank you guys very much for that. Uh, shout outs to all 169 followers on Twitch. Shout outs to all 233 subscribers on YouTube. And a massive shout out to all three of my Twitch subscribers who are giving me just a little bit of their hard earned money that they really probably should be spending somewhere else. <laughs> this being on, I never ask for money, I just ask for views. But if you guys really, really, really want to help me out and say, you know, this guy, he has done enough raging and, and crying that here's a couple dollars, I'm not going to like deny. But I, that's going way above and beyond the Call of Duty there. Uh, I just am so tickled pink that anybody would give me any money to play this. It's just I never thought I'd ever get money. I actually have gotten a $100 Twitch payment months ago now for playing Magic the Gathering. That's just crazy. So, all right. So, end of the deck here. Um, I am uh, The only change, the main deck is the same. The change we did here was we took out two Wet of the Storms to bring back in the two Boils. I've been, oops, really missing boil. So now today that means I'm going to play against a lot of burn and prowess. So get hyped for that. But Fury should be okay against burn and prowess. So hopefully that doesn't get too bad. S Saturday, I'm already in Sweden for holidays without internet. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be a, definitely putting on YouTube. Going to Sweden. You never hear much about Sweden. Sweden's in the middle, right? Or is that Switzerland? Switzerland's in the middle of Europe. Sweden's up high, right? It's up in the north? I don't know. I apologize. I don't know where Sweden is. Sweden and Switzerland sound very similar. Uh, I know where France and Germany and all the big countries are. I know where Italy's at and where Spain and Portugal are, but I always get Sweden and Switzerland messed up. Sweden is north, right? That's one of the Nordic states, right? Switzerland's in the middle. It's a little country, right? Look. Yo, Thick Gage, that's right. We're going to be drawing more lands, buddy. That's right, man. Glad you're here, dude. Good to see you. Let's get on in here. Let's do what's right. Sweden has smorgasbords? 
Is that like a fancy word for like s'mores? All right. Yes, I'll have to go first. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with this hand. To celebrate a decent hand, actually a pretty damn good hand, really. And I've got this here. Again, it's not Mountain Dew. Again, I'm really experimenting with it. I got this Red Dog Monster Hydro Super Sport uh, Superior Hydration. What flavor the fuck is Red Dog? Look at that. Red Dog? What the hell does that mean? There used to be a Red Dog beer. Like, I, I drank that beer. It's pretty gross. I didn't really like it. But Red Dog, it better not be dog flavored. That'd be pretty nasty, probably unethical. I don't recognize that smell. I don't know what it is, but it's good. I don't know. Oh, DJ, you really like this one too? I don't know what this is, but Major Riot approves. It's another beverage Major Riot approves, all right? Any sort of beverage I approve. All right, like I said, I'll keep. Oh. And hopefully start off with the closest. What the hell's going on here? Okay. Opponent said, good luck. I said, you too. And he wrote back, you too. I'm like, all right. What we got here? Uh-oh. Is this Heliod time? It may very well be Heliod time. Which, in that case, I may already be fucked. I will fly to new levels by mixing it with Jaeger. I have Jaeger, believe it or not. I still have Jaeger because I still think it's cool, like in 2007. Jaeger used to be on tap. Remember that back in the day? Wow, get a blood moon there. Um, just got blown by elementals. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. I draw another land. There's the first top deck land of the day. It will not be the last, I guarantee. Oh, what I do? I should now. Okay, I messed that up. Uh, and I, I can salvage it though. I, I need to get a basic forest, anyways. Um, leave your booze alone. <laughs> I guess so. McVivi says above Germany, you're going there with a friend for some bushcrafting, living somewhere in the nature. You mean like camping? You guys call it bushcrafting? I've never heard that before in my life. That's fascinating. All right, let's get uh, let's get blood braid going. Yeah, maybe I should have played the Chandra and killed that Arbor Elf. Fuck, maybe that was wrong. Oh, never mind. We got Blood Moon. There we go. <laughs> yes. And Clothes is gonna get turned on. Yes. Let the slaughter begin. Oh my god, McLeod, bro. You just got fucked. That 22? Are you 22? God, you're 10 years younger than me. Why is everyone so much younger than me? What happened? I'm not even that fucking old. 32, and everyone's like, God, you're ancient, dude. Like, the fuck? I'm like still the youngest guy at work. Alright, so I assume this is Heliod, so we gotta bring in Fury. Anger the Gods I like a lot. That's really about it. Cindervise doesn't do anything. Doesn't do much. Maybe I could bring in Collector Oof. Collector Oof's not a bad idea if that's what they're trying to do is win through um, um, Walking Ballista. Uh, Pillage is good. Blood Moon is good. Uh, what is bad here? Scavenging Ooze maybe is not great. Did I know George Washington? No. But I, did, I do remember George Bush being president, the first one. I do remember that. Barely. And the only thing I remember is him, Bill Clinton, being, being inaugurated, and uh, and he was there. And so I was like, technically, I do remember him being president. Like, for like a half hour still, you know. Um, Pill Questing Beast is good. Man, is that too much stuff bringing in? What I bring in? Anger, Collector, Oof, and Fury. I think they're all good plays. Is Collector Oof too cute? Mm. 
Maybe that's too cute. I don't know. I, I don't even think I have notes for this matchup, do I? Maybe I did. I guess that counts for something. I think I can take out the two Blood Moons and the Collector Oofs. I think that looks about right. Manure, but I didn't realize you were that old. Gerald Ford was President of Warren. When I was born, it was George Bush. It was the first George Bush. Um, mulligan this. Ah, yeah. God, it's close. Two bolts in hand, but that double glory bringer is ugly as fuck. It, it's too fair. Nobody ever says it's fair when I drop a blood moon like I just did. I dropped a blood moon on turn three. That guy was probably pretty fucking pissed off. Uh... It's a keepable hand because I can just bolt creatures. I'm going on a limb and keep it. I mean, it's scary to keep, but, you know, we go for it. Wow, I got all my glory bringers, guys. Um, I guess we show them we got bolt, right? Put out your one drop. I'm ready for it. Probably an Oriok immediately. Or it looks like he's just going to try and hold on and search for basics. Uh, now I'm showing double bolt. I'm ready. All right, here he's off of the races now. Maybe that wasn't smart. No, no. Teferi is very mean. I mean, I'll take a Blood Moon here. Just let everyone know. What is he geared up for here? A collected company? I'm going to put Clothes on the field just because. Collected company. It's weird artwork for it. I don't like that artwork. It's like fucking Simba. Wow, he only got an Arbor Elf? Holy shit, that's the worst collect company I've seen in quite a while. That's nuts. Anger the Gods. Clothis is really, really rough on most mid-range decks. Like, for real. Um. Yeah, I think I'm good with just eating that and trying to maybe bolt this and then maybe play blood braid next turn just waiting for that oriok champion yep That actually sucks. Give me my 3-3. Three, three. Alright. Keep swinging. Play another one. Another collected company. Oh, just dead. Just dead now. We died. <laughs> so fucking stupid. 
so fucking incredibly stupid. Just, you can't get much dumber than this. Alright, that's enough of that. Oh, Alright, I'm bringing an oof in. I don't give a fuck. Oof coming in. I'm always somehow mana screwed, Gage. Like, I either don't get a land or I get too many lands, right? That's how it always goes. Um... I guess take out Anger and bring in the Oofs. It's pretty silly deck. You know, Heliod Company, I'm not a fan. This isn't an absolute horrible hand. I'm going to keep... Because you go Arbor Elf, Sprawl, I'll keep it. It's a little weird, but I think I can run with this since I have so much Accelerant. And this isn't a deck that generally takes out your Accelerant. But maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they're running the new, um, whatchamacallit, uh, Prismatic Ending. Which, if they are, fuck. All right, that's a pillage target. Land. Ah, deck, why? Bolt anything that moves. No, they can't do a Oriok champion with that. That's what I was afraid of. Is an Oriok suddenly showing up? That dog hit the power strip. What a monster! Fuck. Two sprawls. Um, I got hit pretty bad by. Uh, they just all well, they did was they just top decked walking ballista. They had enough mana to play the ballista as a two-two and give it life link with Heliod on the field. Um, so it was pretty bad. What are you looking for here? Walking Ballista. Great. Well, we just have to bolt this thing. Not exactly the most exciting thing in the world to bolt, but you gotta do it. Oops. Uh, pillage here. Uh, go for a forest. Ah, oh, that was the wrong one to grab. That I should not have grabbed a forest. I was thinking about... I was going to play the Season Pyro, but that was a massive mistake. I should have grabbed the Stomping Ground. I just forgot that I only had one Sprawl on there, so instead I'll swing like an idiot. Nothing like a dog running into a power strip, huh? Hopefully that slowed him down significantly. Doesn't look like it. And then I get punished for the forest. Yeah, hopefully that'll keep him off, you know, a little bit. Oh, he just hit the bottom. I thought you, he got, like, tangled up in it and just just ripped the whole, you know, um, power strip out of the socket. Uh, you know, I have five dogs, so I know the damage dogs can do. And I don't have big dogs. I got Cocker Spaniels and Cavalier Spaniel. And uh, uh, even those little guys, you know, they only weigh 20 pounds each. They can do some serious damage running full speed. Sure. See if he's got it. Spike Feeder and Heliod. Mm, close. 
So we're going to exert onto that spike feeder. Another walking ballista. Maybe I can find, uh, you know, a uh, collector roof here. It's a blood braid elf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can play bowl, right? If I tap right. Yeah, I like that. All right. Blood Raid Elf, find me that collector oof. Let's go, Blood Raid. Clothis. Oh, man. All right, well, let's attack and exert, destroying the spike feeder. They're going to gain four life anyway, so they'll negate this. Um, how much is this? 11? Yeah, I'll swing in here. So we negate their life gain here with the glory bringer. That's fine. Less devotion for Heliod. Good lord. All right, we exert on that ballista. Swing with your Skyclave, I'll block it. Yes, another Sprawl. Exactly what we need. Opponent just said he's gonna have some bathroom problems. So, hope he's gonna be okay. Uh, you know? Hopefully it'll be all right. So what can I do here? I'm going to fly over and exert onto Walking Ballista. How much mana is he going to have? I mean, more than enough to win, right? Well, no, if we kill the Ballista, he needs to have that be... I guess it can have to be a 1-1, one -one, so that's 2. I mean, the Arbor Elf is going to be a serious problem. I almost wonder if I should kill the Arbor Elf, but that doesn't make any sense. Kill the Ballista... He puts Ballista on the field as a 1-1. One, one. Then he makes it a 2-3. A and then he can still play the Heliod. I gotta look up this Heliod card. Hydration check? Absolutely, uh, JD. Right there. This one is Red Dog Monster Hydro Super Sport Superior Hydration. That's a lot of words. So let's see if he can get enough mana to do kill me next turn. Um, Heliod. I don't even know what it's called. Is it Sun Crowned? Yes. So he needs two mana. So he goes, I kill the Ballista. Uh, he has to pay two to make a 1-1. One, one. Flips this down to make it a 2-3. Flips this back up, three. If he has another land, he has to have a land and a Heliod in hand um, to get that. So land and Heliod, and you can win the game next turn. Heliod is three mana, but then it costs another one and a white to give a creature lifelink. 
He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. If he has another land, that's eight mana. Uh, yeah, so attack and exert. I'm sending everybody. Uh... So I send the Arbor Elf. He'll just block here, right? I mean, he's just going to shoot it and then shoot me. He's going to shoot the Pyros. I think I just send them. This is exerting, right? I, I hope I clicked on Walking Ballista. Oh, I haven't done it yet. Whew. All right. He's going to kill the Pyromancer. Sure. All right. All right, so let's see if he's got land plus Heliod. That's what he needs to win. There's the land. I don't think he has it now. There's the Heliod. Oh, wait. No, he, he does. No, he does not. He does not have it. Because he brings that in as a 1-1, one, one, and then he can make it a 2-3. A Yeah, he can't, he doesn't have it. This is it. This is the game. It should be. Oh, fuck yeah, especially with that. Uh, boom! There we go. All right. Got him. Fuck yeah. All right. Good shit. Taking down Heliod. Look at that. What we got here? We got a coffee 25 plot. What is that? It's like supposed to be some sort of cat? And then we got coffee 25 sip. What's going on there? Is she's like, you got horns and glasses? Is that Harry Potter? I don't know. It's a furret? Oh, Pokemon. Furret. I don't remember that being in red and blue. I probably would recognize it if I if I looked a little more at it. Opponent is clumsy tumsy. It's a funny name. Uh yes, of course I'd like to go first. Uh, I did know that, JD. I didn't know that, uh, this person here was also a furry. And then there's Scat and Boar. What is this? This Elementals, I guess? Probably Elementals. Hopefully Blood Moon can do something. I just found out what those were, like, seriously, like, two weeks ago, and I was very disturbed But what happened. I like how my basic mountain, like, I always hate opening with this. It just sucks. Weakens my deck a lot against, like, uh, you know, um, against, like, Field of Ruin. All right, I gotta try and nail this guy with a Blood Moon next turn. What is that? Why did he shock that? I guess it's basic mountain time. Save two life. I, I don't know. It's, it, it can't be good for you to be thinking about that kind of stuff all the time. I mean, everybody's got their own thing, right? And like you said, if it's not hurt anybody. Uh, when 
When subtlety enters the battlefield, this is a one target creature spell or planeswalker spell. Well, this is not a creature spell. What is happening here? Creature or planeswalker. What, what is happening? He's going to return my Arbor Elf? What's it do? Puts it on the top or bottom? I'll put it on... Do I want this on top or bottom? What's going on? Is it going to... Oh, I see. This good old trick, huh? It's okay. I got Lightning Bolt. It'll get bolted. That's fine. Decides not to use his ability anyways. All right, there you go. Does not rebound. I'm sure there's some serious fucking jank on YouTube. I'm always running into jank. There's some serious top deck lands, I'll tell you that much. I mean, this used to be jank. Unfortunately, there's a lot of red creatures in uh, in this uh, elemental deck. Evoke one green. Well, I better find a basic gas uh, forest. I have four mana. Do we go for Blood Braid or Clothis plus Bolt? I think Blood Braid makes a little more sense here. Come on, Blood Braid! Oh, come on, opponent. Scavenging ooze? Sure. That's not a bad hit. What are you guys talking about? Do we even want to know? Do I need to start handing out bans? Do I need a lean-in manual ban as one of my... Uh, Lol cows would say. I guess Wings of Redemption is like coming to an end. You know, he's got, he got departed. And uh, just like Dark Side Phil. Opponent also not only is he stuck in her blood when he missed a land drop. Maybe I should have played Clothis first. I don't know. Dom McVB, uh, that just means you like to be in control of certain adult situations. That's all it means. Let's not get too much further than that. Who has two strikes? LTG, which is good. I don't like LTG at all. Like, I actively hate that guy sometimes. I mean, I don't know how he's been on the air or on the internet so long. Like, I... I can't even watch that guy. Like, I can watch Wings, I can watch DSP, but I cannot watch LTG. It, it's just too, it's just too painful. So I make sure to stay away from that. 
So we're going to play uh, Clothis. Which I should have played last turn. What is he exiling? Another Fury? Okay. Ugh. Cast. There we go. All right, we'll bolt the subtlety. You know, I lost at locals with Ponza to subtlety because uh, the guy had some weird new card from Modern Horizons 2. He was playing, like, mono blue turns. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He actually fucking found his basic forest. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what? Right. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. Get it out of here. Yeah, I don't even want to bring up LTD, LTG, LTDs. Uh, that's a big ass car. LTG. He's just obnoxious, and nobody should like that guy. Um, I'm actually gonna eat out of my own grave here, since so I just top deck a scavenging ooze. I'll eat lightning bolt. I want to leave as many creatures as possible for ooze to eat, and hope it's enough. Devour. Devour. Got to get it beyond Fury level. Devour. All right. There we go. That's a big ooze. So the opponent top deck the land there. Going down to 10. Must be something pretty good here. Risen Reef is pretty good. If it's a land you put on the field, if it's not, you put it in your hand. So, Let's see what it is. Is it a you may? You may, okay. He puts it in his hand, okay. All right, I'll eat my own uh, blood braid elf here. Maybe that's wrong. Oh, I know that. I know that's absolutely true. Um. I just haven't paid attention to him, like, literally in probably seven years. Um, I heard about him a few years ago. I'm not even going to talk about why he was brought up. It was, like, really ridiculous. I did watch the video why he got brought up. All of a sudden, he was on the internet, like, outside of his normal weird. I know that, McVB. I'm hoping to top deck, like, a Renin 6 and just minus on it. Uh... Yeah, I'll eat one more time with ooze. Which maybe isn't right. Blood Braid Elf, excellent. Alright, he's at 8. I'm at 20. We need Blood Braid Elf to cascade into something so Clothus will become a creature. Come on, Blood Braid. 
Utopia Sprawl, that's gonna do it. It'll get it in there. Sup, Cylon, how you doing? Big nerds chant there. Uh, yeah, swing on in. Hell, maybe I'll throw the Arbor Elf in, too. Throw it in the mix, right? Yeah, I should. You have to block these two, that'd still be four. All right, here we go, game two. Uh, Anger the Gods, you're in. Fury, you're in. Pillage seems okay in this matchup. But I think I should still probably side it out. It's not amazing, amazing. Uh, everything else seems really fucking good, though. Scavenging News performed like a champ there. Take out one Season Pyro, but I hate taking out Season Pyro because I lose. You're alive? Very good. Glad to see you're still alive. Um, triumphed over the Rona. Oh, that's right. Did You got sick with Corona. You are part of the reason why California is going back to masks. Very luckily, I can't believe it. I thought for sure they were going to tell Washington, the governor of Washington was going to tell us we all have to wear masks regardless if we're vaccinated or not. But no, he didn't. I know you live in Arizona, but you're part of the problem, they tell you. Um, but my governor, he had a real tough time explaining. <laughs> we're not going to go back to masks, he said. You can only recommend them. Um, I think I'll take out one pyromancer. I don't like doing it. Maybe I should have got a blood moon. I don't know. Bloodman's pretty good, though. Um, I got a mulligan that. If, again, if this was a basic land, I'd probably keep. All right, that one will keep. Put mountain on bottom. Um, but yeah, my governor, he was like, he's like, we're not going back to mass. Uh, we can only highly recommend them. Um, but we, uh, you know, we want the only way to stop the vax, the only way to stop the virus is to vaccinate everybody. Oh, shit. Um, is to vaccinate everyone. Well, I'm not going to be able to turn to Blood Moon uh, McBeebe because he got the Fury. I know he's going to nail my, my... But I have my own Fury now, so I feel a little bit more confident. Can we put it out there so he has an Exile, right? Minus one to his hand. Um, but he said, you need a vaccine. We need to vaccine people. But people that are fully vaccinated, you still have to wear a mask. So what's the incentive, Governor? You get the you get the vaccine, you still have to wear a mask, that's what you're telling us? Wow, is this guy gonna let this happen? No, he's gonna swing for one first, see if I block. I mean he can get a basic here. I did take out my pillages, so that's kinda rough. Is he gonna let me untap with his arbor elf? Oh my god, what's happening? Maybe he's already got the one that you can evoke. I kind of want to just get a basic red here. So this deck can unload a lot of damage fast. I think Joe Biden today said he's willing to give everyone $100 in America. Like, wow, Joe. Thanks, buddy. So yeah, it looks like he does have the, uh, the one that destroys... Um... An enchantment. Is that flash speed? I don't think it is. Okay. Now, it, funny enough, he really messed up here, guys. He did not... He needed to wait bef 
to after he killed my Blood Moon to play the Unclaimed Territory. He never got to name Elemental, so this will only produce colorless mana for the rest of the game. So that's just must be inexperience or something. Um, I know I'm a humans player. That's right, manure butt. Hundred bucks. Hundred American dollars. Surprised he still hasn't played the Fury. Uh, that can do blood, that could do blood braid elf. That can also do questing beast, but I don't really want questing beast dying to that. I don't want my Ren and Six dying to that either. We're clearly putting it on there. Oh no, I can't, what am I talking about? I can't do blood braid elf this turn. So I guess it is just going to be straight up Ren and Six. And just to make sure... He has to take the full amount here uh, to kill my Ren. I'm going to pick up this. Play it. Say go. <laughs> right, I know, you're just getting a refund back. It's like when they talk about you know, we should get rid of all the debt for the people who are in college debt or whatever they call it. It's like, I didn't go to college, so why should I have to pay uh, for these people's college debt? I mean, what good is this doing me, government? Like, that's not fair to me. What the fuck, guys? Why you do this to me? And, you know, luckily, there's enough common sense people in the Democratic Party are like, well, we can't erase all the debt. The most we're going to be able to do is 10000 You know, that's what the most of them are saying. But still, 10000 is a lot for every single one of them. I mean, it's like, good lord, what's happening here? Sure, I've got lots of mana. Clothis. This is pay one, right? Yeah, pay one. So I could just do Fury, just cast it straight up as a creature, but I don't think that's smart. I think instead what I want to do is I have potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I can go Blood Braid Elf plus Clothis, which I think is fine. Let's do that. Come on, Blood Brood. Oh, look at that, guys. A Utopia Sprawl. That is exciting. That is just the best that's ever been. Right? It just doesn't get any better than that. So I would assume that all my creatures are going to die here <laughs> um, to this fury at some point. I have my own fury. Clothis already a creature. Nine devotion. So fury can take out these two. That's minus three devotion. So it'd be, yeah, it wouldn't be a creature anymore. It'd be six. So, um... I think I'm going to sit back. I don't think I'm going to swing here. Because I want him to use Fury at some point. You know, he can't... He cannot cast it from his hand right now because this can't make red mana. It can only make colorless. This guy messed up. Now he can get red mana. Now he can play it. But I can Fury it back. There we go. Down to 13. All right, here comes the big ass fucking fury. I've got my own. I'm ready.
the wise thing to do. How do I want to do this? Two. Two? I don't know. One. Sure. That's fine. Oh, he's going to kill it with the other ones. Okay. I see his plan here. There goes my Ren. I think it's still probably best to just kill the Fury with my Fury. And that sounds pretty good. I don't think I can make nine mana. One, four, six, seven, eight. Well, I'm close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight. I can't do nine. There's another Fury. I think I'm just going to cast the Fury hard up here. Uh, eat Foundation Breaker. That's correct also, Cylon. Yes. I'm just going to kill the Fury. I'm not going to waste it on the other ones. Just cure, kill Fury. He can figure out what to do from there. I have exactly enough mana to pay the one. Yeah, I can't, I sadly cannot kill the other one because I need to have two because it's for each target. Whenever you or a permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability. Now, I don't know how this works. Whenever you or a permanent you control becomes the target of a, so does this mean I have to pay two mana or just one? If I target two creatures here, do I have to pay two mana or just one? One for each target. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So I'm going to just guess here. One for each? Okay, thank you, Cylon. All right, now I just sit here. And we got, we got dueling elementals. So hopefully the next Fury can do even more damage. My god. Comes in tapped, huh? I never noticed that before. Alright, so... If I top deck a land, I do... Let me eat a land, and then, because I need a five mana here, I need to eat a land, play this land, and then I can kill everything, hopefully. Uh, eat your Misty Rainforest. He must know something's up here. Get red. Play Forest. Something like that. Crazy match, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. Do I have to click on each one individually? I guess I do. Kaboom! <laughs> All right, and here's 10 damage for you, buddy. There you go. Hey, you're at one. You better gain some life, otherwise this cloth is going to kill you. That's some quality shit there, huh? Now that's what Fury's designed to do, folks. That is. I have shown this elemental player what to do with the elemental. A little bit of help from Clothis there. It's a good top deck, too. I actually needed a forest there, and I got one. Opponent's not giving up. He says, I'm not done yet, motherfucker. I want more. Give me fucking more. 
Can't fetch. Better gain life. Mm, all right, good shit. He killed himself with his with his uh, fetch land. He wouldn't let me eat with twelve. So I got a draw. Lightning bolt, even better. All right, two and zero to start today. Good shit. Good shit. That's right. Killing elementals with an elemental. Who needs Plague Engineer when you have a Fury killing three? That cost me eight fucking mana. <laughs> eight mana to do all that. Like, that is some serious, like, bullshit there. That is, like, your top end card in a fucking draft. Like, it just rots in your hand. You draft it because it's just, now I'm going for mono black. This is a black creature that costs eight mana. And you're like, well, here it is. I finally got eight lands, eight basic swamps. Gotta make that 5 0. We are a long ways from that, McVB. I'm sure I'll fall on my face pretty hard. This opponent is trying to go 4 0. So this guy is already 4 0. All right, yes, yeah, so I like to go first. Gone first all three matches so far. So we got Luris here. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand, even though it's kind of ugly. Because I might fall victim to Blood Moon here. Because I'm going to play Windswept Heat. If he plays like a Dragon Rage Chandler or a Ragavan, we bolt it. And uh, I have already mana for Blood Braid. You know, I might have to wait till turn four. We, we will have to wait till turn four. Why are people so chatty? My opponent tells me to have fun, and I say, I'll try. And he says, that's all we can do, right? Like, dude, can we play the game? There we go. I mean, I appreciate the friendliness, but come on. Oh, it's it, it's uh, this is gonna be really bad. Uh, yeah, this is going to be Hammer, so fuck. It's a good draw. Gets Blood Raid a full turn ahead here. All right. Where's Blood Moon? That's getting bolted. All right. Blood Raid Elf time, trying to find Blood Moon. Multiple attempts here, it looks like. And Blood Moon just to get this off the field. Come on, Blood Moon! Pillage, alright. Uh, yeah, let's hit that Urza Saga. Boom. Swing for three. Normally all about hitting these spring leaf drums, but we gotta get Saga off. Just that's ridiculous. Look at Pillage doing work. Everybody's always down on Pillage, and Pillage has been so good today. It has been. It's just been fantastical. Dude, what the fuck? Why do you have a second one, bro?
Whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one. What? Why did they get this card? What the hell, Dungeons and Dragons? Bullshit. Gets another Spring Leaf Drum. Okay. What a shitty card. <laughs> it's definitely not as strong as you might think. I mean, it definitely helps them out. Questing Beast. Again, I want to find Blood Moon or something, so... Another Blood Braid. Come on, Blood Braid! Another different pillage! Yes! Yes! Swing for six. Look at that pillage! Who says pillage is a bad card? It's an amazing card. What's wrong with you all? Pillage hype! Pillage Hype. What is this one even out of? Master's Edition 3 Pillage Hype. Where's it? What, an Alliances, I think? Oh! Looky there. Just, you know, a pure still Paladin off the top. Because that's all that, you know, he's going to need. Probably just dead here, right? Probably just absolutely fucking dead. Well, no, it's, it still needs a... Oh, it's equipped zero, yeah. So, does he have another one? Show me one more hammer. One more. One more hammer. Un Moss. I can't kill him here. I need a top deck bolt if, if he, this is all he's got. A 13-13. Uh, I'm, like, almost out of pillages. I got one. He can't cast another? Well, he could. <laughs> Another different Bloodbraid Elf. So, if Bloodbraid cascades into a Lightning Bolt, we can win, right? Or into a Stomp. So that's the Vic, that's the route we're going, I think. You know, maybe, maybe Questing Beast because Questing Beast. This can't flip around at instant speed, right? So Questing Beast can get in there and be a Death Touch blocker. So maybe that's the right answer, is Questing Beast. Now again, I could play the, the Lotto here, spin with Blood Raid Elf, and see if I can't find a Lightning Bolt or a Stomp. I still have three Bolts, two Stomps left. Questing Beast is not lethal. That's right, Cylon. But I'm thinking about... I guess I can just leave back a Bloodbraid Elf, right? All right, Bloodbraid Elf. Let's go. Ah, oh, there it is. I finally get the Sprawl. Finally get Sprawl. So I guess leave one back. Well... I think I gotta leave two back because this can come a four four. So yeah, we just gotta leave two back. All right, thanks for stopping by, McVB. Really appreciate it. Glad you got to watch this. All right. Another different pure steel. Yep, yep, yep. Gets to draw two cards. Puts it on here. I have to double block or block both. stupid. Alright, now he'll just put those on um, the other paladin. Well, I guess he can't. So top deck bolt. Oh wait, yeah, he can. It costs zero mana. What am I talking about?
Now Blood Moon shows up. Not that it matters. I mean, I'm going to swing with Questing Beast here. It's got Vigilance. I don't see how this is wrong. I mean, I'm dead, but I'm just playing just because. Oh, the Shadow Spear. There you go. All right, that's enough. All right, hammer time. If McVeevy is still around or watching on YouTube, this is where the 5 0 ends the dream. Uh, so, obviously, Collector Roof and Cinder Vines. Um, Blood Moon's, like, not bad because they play Urza Saga now. It's pretty weird, really. Uh, Scavenging, Scavenging Ooze, Clothis are both questionable, I feel. I mean, yeah, they have Lurus, but, you know, I think I like Fury. In here, take out Ren. I think this is about right. This Blood Moon makes sense. Can take out the Urza Sagas. I think I still like it. Urza Sagas, how they just kill you so fast. Yeah, I, I think this is probably the best I can do. I mean, the most, I could bring in Relic, but I really don't want to do that with Collector Oop coming in. Um, Blood Moon doesn't really work too much because they're mostly basic planes, but still, turn off Urza Saga, maybe stopping them from drawing a card with the, uh, what is that card? The one they play that draws, the black-white one. Oh, my dog came and stared at me. Um, silent Clearing. Silent Clearing. It's like the least popular one, right? Silent Clearing, Nurturing Peatland, Sunbake Canyon, Waterlogged Grove. Is there another one besides Horizon Canopy, or do they just not, do they just count Horizon Canopy as one already? I don't think they made a sixth one, did they? He's already just kept the horizon canopy. Sounds about right. Oh no, Fiery Island. They did make five. All right. What can you get for 20,000 channel points? I don't know. I don't have any goals or anything. I don't think any. I, I didn't think anybody would watch the channel enough to get twenty thousand points. <laughs> uh, keep. All right, we got plenty of lightning bolts. Well, I'm glad you did, man. I, I'll look and see if there's anything, you know, that I can do. I gotta look into that and see. Cinder Vine's pretty good. Changes hats for 2K. 
I mean, I got plenty of sunglasses. I've got, well, the one I can't wear for long, man. It's just so painful on my face. But I got these other sunglasses that I could easily wear for some sort of goal like that. I have to see how many sunglasses I got. I'm into sunglasses even though I never wear them. Yeah, I like I love these sunglasses, but they're sunglasses meant for a costume. So they're not meant to be worn for a long time. Uh I think I'm good with just destroying that now. Swing in for one. I'll show you them. Hang on, let me get them. Gotta take my hat off for this. That's how intense these sunglasses are. Cannot be put on with a hat on. Oh my god. See, check them out, Cylon. Look at that. Full wraparound shades. Huh? Fully wrapping around like Brett the Hitman heart. My God, they hurt so bad already. They're just so tight on my face. I just, there's no, that there's no way I could, I know, I, I need to get the pink ones. Sure, let's see what he finds. I mean, it's just so painful wearing these. Get a smaller face? I wish I had a smaller head my whole fucking life. Because I can barely find hats that fit me. Um, welding jar? That was the best they found? I mean, that's fine. I got stuff to deal with that. Alright. Okay. Too bad it's hollow. Mine's filled with a lot of knowledge, but I don't know if it's good knowledge, you know, like the knowledge like you'd be proud to share. Like a lot of my knowledge is like magic, and that's very questionable, you know. Wow. Alright. I think I'm dope with doing that. Hey, regenerate this. All right. Some people actually have tried to uh, welding jar on an artifact that's being hit by pillage. I've seen it done. It's like, no, it says bury it. My paper copies of pillage, I'll say bury. I fucking hate this card too. Sure. Wow, that's a lot of bolts. All right, swinging for four. The path to exile? Oh, okay. Oh, I gotta take these off. Oh my god. Whew, that is brutal. My other glasses. Where are they at? Are over here. Alright, Gage, thanks for stopping by, man. These are my actual Blood Moon glasses because when I put them on, literally everything turns red. It messes with my vision. Um, everything looks red. I can't tell what color the cards are except for, uh, their mana symbol. So. Uh, he gets to draw a card here. Oh, 
Oh, wait, fuck, he's got a fucking welding jar. God damn it. Well, at least, at least he uh, will lose the, uh, the Esper Sentinel. It does get tapped. All right, we can block. Oh, it's kind of worth it getting rid of Welding Jar. I still got four damage in. I've got a Death Toucher here. <laughs> All right. Wow. Fuck off. For real. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. That's ridiculous. What a fucking asshole. This deck is another deck that's just too easy for people to play. What the hell's going on here? I've been getting these uh, messages from Greenpeace. Somebody must have gave them my phone number or something, but I just supposedly canceled. Uh, should be dead. Look at them hearts. I feel so good whenever there's hearts. Uh, I, I'm, I'm dead here. There's just no way to survive. Um, now that my wife's home, I gotta close this door. The barking gets too intense. I, I can't I can't win this game. I guess I can with some blocking. Maybe. I think we need to kill the pure steel paladin though. Pay 11? Oh my god, I didn't even read that. Alright, I'm just dead. I don't want to play this guy anymore. Alright. Hammer time and go fuck themselves. Skillless, dumbass deck. Zero thought process. Yeah, Hammer Time's up there with my most hated decks. It's so rare I beat that deck. Just need a collector oof. That's what I needed. Like, bad. But notice there was no collector oof in sight. There was no collector oof to save my life. Collector Oof was off in his cave getting high. Very high. So, next week I'm not going to play Ponza. I don't know what I'm playing, though. Uh, I, I haven't decided. I mean, I'm still playing Ponza this Saturday. I'm playing Ponza tomorrow at Locals. So, Ponza's still going on this week. This is the last time you guys will see me live doing it. Uh, I think I can mulligan this. 
I think I can keep that. Put the redundant moon on the bottom. All right. Trogdor 1396. It's a flooded strand. I figured it was going for steam vents. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, motherfuckers. Oh, yes. Um, this is fucking bad. Uh, basic forest, get sprawl, try to stomp that thing. Next turn. It's going to steal some from me. Bone Crusher Giant, all right. Does not play it. So what does this mean? Probably has some sort of, it's probably Delver, it's probably a counterspell. See what happens. Yes. Counter spell. Counterspell. Counterspell. Archmage Charm? Ah, just friend the old Counterspell. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about here. What was I going to draw? A land. Okay, Stomping Ground, too. All right. Missed a land drop? Doesn't really matter because he's got two treasures. All right, I think it's just time for Bloodbraid here. Hope Bloodbraid can find me something. Come on, Bloodbraid! Lightning Bolt, that seems pretty good. Yes! Yes! Now, now the thing, though, you got to wonder about is, like... Is there another Ragavan? Right, that's always the question. Is there another another Ragavan in hand? Because you know they run four. So if I swing here, we swing. You can't be scared. You can't be scared. Wow. All right, swing for three. Knock him to ten. All right, time for a blood moon. I mean, it doesn't really matter. They got two treasure tokens. But still, maybe stop their fetch lands. You know, reduce their mana a little bit, make it a little tougher on them. Here it comes. No? It's the fairy. Oh, prismatic ending. Questing beast. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna since he got so angry at the uh, at the blood moon, I'm gonna keep the swing with the blood braid. Blood Moon? Counterspell? Archmage Charm. Force Negation, full cost. All right. Uh, 
a, suddenly a stone forge. So we got some sort of Jeskai stone blade. All right. I'd like a land here for Glorybringer for game. Hopefully. All right, attack, attack, and exert. Yes, all right, there we go. Okay, so we need Cinder Vines and Collector Oof. Boil doesn't look terrible either. Uh, Pillage looks good, Blood Moon looks really good. Uh, scavenging Ooze, probably not great. Clothis may also not be great. And I'll bring in one Fury. All right, one Fury, just in case. I think I like that. All right. Let's go with that. So we got Jeskai Stoneblade. Uh, yeah, I think I can keep this. It's a little bit rough, but we'll do it. Sure. Yeah, Boyle's not terrible. It's just, it's kind of fool's gold, DJ, because... Mostly because of, uh... If they play a lot of lands like the Spiral Bluff Canal, that's not an island. Um, oof. I think we want to exile the Season Pyro, right? I think that makes the most amount of sense, the Season Pyro. It's, a tough, it's technically the toughest for me to cast unless I top deck up Red Source. But I think I want to keep the Blood Braid. Can't force this. It's one thing that's good about Fury. Hopefully I don't have another Ragavan, just dash it. I think we keep the Bone Crusher Giant up, and then we can play Cinder Vines next turn. Does that make any sense, or should I play Cinder Vines now? They'd have to top deck the Ragavan, because they didn't cast it. I'm going to go with Cinder Vines. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's pretty fucking annoying. That is, no doubt, very annoying. So if I stomp here... And then he pluses it again. He's up to four, so it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. I think, again, I just play another different Cinder Vines. I'd be taking some serious damage every time he casts a, you know, a non-creature spell. Maybe how weak he is to Blood Moon here, but he does have the Teferi to bounce it back. Okay. Fuck. Oh, 
Ooh, the calls are complete. That's nasty. I wonder if he has a counter spell here. I would assume he does. Oh, he didn't. Wow. Wow. All right. We're going to cast um, Bloodbraid Elf no matter what. What is this? A lightning bolt? Targeting Elf? Okay. Because we can probably kill the Teferi. I mean, I'll lose out on my Cascade, but I'll take it to kill the Teferi, hopefully. Sure. Polluted Delta is in hand, or in exile. That's rough. All right, let's see what I lose. Arbor Elf. It's not too bad. You could probably cast that as a blocker, right? To try and protect his Teferi, he does not. So does that mean he has more counter magic? Well, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to play the Blood Raid Elf and lose the Cascade because I'm going to try and kill this uh, Teferi. Pillage, of course, was the one, so it just goes to the bottom of the deck. I'm just kill Teferi. Now he's getting really close to having Calder complete just come out. <coughs> so Quip is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to assume here he's just going to play a land and play Calder complete. I mean, I can't stop it. Instead, plays Ragavan. See what he steals this time. Renin six. That's pretty good. It's damn good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thinking hard here. He's got enough money, mana, money, mana to cast Calder complete next turn. Just thinking about casting Ren. He's got to use a treasure token. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Because he's not going to. Never mind. To just race time? Can I outrace the Cauldra? And is this this has haste, right? Can I outrace this shit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we're gonna find out. All right, Calder Complete does not have lifelink. It has Trample, Indestructible, First Strike, Haste, and whenever a creature deals combat damage to a, whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, exile that creature. So no Vigilance, no lifelink. So it's got everything that what's-its-name doesn't have. 
batter skull. What's happening here? Is this Omnath? Wow, prismatic ending on the glory bringer. Look at that, down to six. Plays Ragavandus as a normal red creature. Okay. All right. That was a terrible draw. How do you make green and black? Because he had two treasure tokens. Right? He still had two treasures. Do we swing here? Kill this Ragavan? I think I like that. Right? Ragavan would have to block, have to chump. And then this would come in, he'd take two off the uh, Cinder Vines. I think I'm down with that. For some action. I feel okay with this trade. It's amazing Ragavan is more powerful than Bloodbraid Elf. Like, for a one-mana creature. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Disgusting. Would you like to go to five? This guy's in a tough spot. Legends are always higher stats. That's true. That's absolutely true. But still, one mana for everything it does. Right, he's at five, so if he casts any sort of non-creature spell, he takes two. We go to three. The big ass Calder complete. He's at three, so how about a top deck bolt? Top deck bolt. Or Bloodbraid Elf, or Questing Beast, or Glorybringer. Any will work. Any. Any. Land, beautiful. It's what we need. <laughs> so he can't swing with this because it doesn't have vigilance until he gives it batter skull, right? Until he plays batter skull. Uh, which he will go to one to do, but then he'll be back up to a lot. I'm rapidly thinning the deck, though. Come on. Just about anything does it. Chandra. Bloodbraid Elf. All right, let's go. Come on, Bloodbraid. Blood Moon, we cast it. I don't think he can win if he counters this. Right, or if he spends mana. Okay, he's at one. Counter spells. I mean, he can't possibly win here, right? If he casts Batter Skull, he loses. If he swings, he loses. I mean, what what can he do? I mean, I guess he's just going to make me wait it out. Oh, my God. All right, I shouldn't have F6, just in case he has a flash something. All right. He's just waiting to die, I guess. If he can't cast a non-creature, he only has blue mana. Come on, Season Pyro, draw me out. Yeah! All right, here we go. Taking down the Death Guy Stone Boy. Let's see what Season Pyro would have drawn me. 
Almost two lands. Half of the green there, two lands, but it did give me the Bone Crusher Giant to win. So, it would have done it. All right, guys, let's see if I can't go four and one. So, this guarantees that every day this week that I streamed, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, I did go three and two. So, that's some good shit. I'm telling you what, this list of Ponza that I've come up with, the right here that you're looking at, is so stable and so mid-rangey that it just, it does work as long as it doesn't run into like Living End and Cascade style deck. Which there is a card from Modern Horizons 2, which I need to look and see if I have any. Uh, Void Mirror. Now it turns off my Bloodbraid Elf, but it might be worth it, you know? But I, I really, on uh, MTGO, I don't like bringing a card like that in generally. Uh, this is a mulligan. Uh, like I said, mulligan like hell here. That is arguably worse. Nah, it's not arguably worse. It's actually better. I'm going to keep, put uh, Glorybringer on bottom. Now, am I going first? No. We got Jund. As soon as I see Vernon can comes, I always think of John. It might be Golgari, Yogmoth. Uh, I think that dies. Might be food too. It's been a while since I've seen a food deck. It was all the rage for like a week. Come on, what the fuck is that? Oh! What? Maybe it's Vengevine? I don't know. What if I get Clothis to turn off that Urza Saga? Be amazing. Two Sagas? I guess we hold the bolt. I'm going to try and top deck a land here. Going to really, really... Come on. Top deck land. Top deck land. Ah, oh, scavenging ooze. Fuck. All right, we just keep trying the top deck land. I think we bolt that first, right? Bolt, because the next one comes out, it's going to make it them bolt three threes at least. No, make them bigger than that, because this will get an artifact, right? Let's get another one, so... Yeah, I think I'm good with bolting this right now. It's kind of a waste to bolt a token, but that token was going to get big. God, it'd still be amazing to get a land here and blood moon them. It's food. That's what I thought. Jesus! Three Urza Sagas? What in the fuck? What is that trash? Three in your first four turns? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, again, trying to top deck a land here. That's what we're trying to do. We are actively trying to top deck this land. Yes! All right. Let's get to moving here. I don't think I want to shock again, which is kind of a problem... Because I have Pyro in hand, but, you know, maybe there's 
hope after all. Look at that! You got one mountain, but I'm going to be taking six damage here. I have to get Scavenging Ooze in immediately and just desperation try to eat stuff. Like, for real, for real. Because that, yeah, that's fucking... I'm going to die really quick here. I mean, this is looking... I can't survive, actually. I just took too long to come online. This guy started with fucking three Urza Sagas. Like, what the fuck do you want me to do, game? Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Who the fuck do you think you are? So there's no way I can win. I, I, I've lost at some bullshit. This guy having three Urza Sagas in the first four turns. You fat piece of shit. Fucking asshole. That's not skill, that's sheer luck, and everybody knows it. I mean, I guess we Bloodbraid Elf here. Maybe find Pillage. Oh, it was red. It was red. We'll cast Bone Crusher Giant, though. We can potentially double block. Right? That is a lot of damage. That's seven. He can't cast that from his grave. Uh, never mind. <laughs> There was hope that maybe I could do it, but ain't happening now. Because he can just... <sighs> so, yeah, he can discard a card and make another food token. That makes it an 8-8. Eight, eight. Sacrifice the Grave Crawl, that makes it a 9-9. Nine, nine. So, I just... There's just no way I can win this. The only hope is I get another red source, and I can play the Season Pyromancer and make two tokens to continuously try to block this thing. So I'm going to throw Blood Raid Elf underneath, and uh, hope for the best. Maybe, 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 maybe I should have thrown both under, but I don't think so. Wow, I got a red source. Here we go. Find me that pillage, Season Pyro. Finds me another different Blood Moon. Does find Blood Braid Elf, though. So, I don't know how I win this game, personally, but, you know, hey, we try. So, I plan on just continuously chump blocking this construct until I find pillage you know eventually I will find pillage right just keep finding blood moons come on blood braid pillage Clothus, absolutely. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, what a come from behind win. Absolutely devastating. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What the fuck, man. Thank you very much, Sarge. I was pissed there that guy had that many Urza Sagas, but I got through it. Thankfully, just to Blood Moon alone. Blood Moon won the entire game. Without, I mean, it was a couple other good cards in there. The, the Blood the blood Raid Elf saved my life. Straight up. Blood Raid Elf got that Bone Crusher Giant. So I was always able to have another creature. You know, man, that was ridiculous. So I need to have Scavenging Ooze. I should probably bring in Relic, too. 
I mean, there is just so much stuff that I just don't know if I can take anything out. Uh, Ren and Six can probably come out. Are Glorybringers any good? Definitely want Pillage, Blood Moon, Clothis, Cindervine, Scavenging Ooze, Collector Oof. Um, probably take out Glorybringer and leave Questing Beast in. I mean, we are asking a lot of Scavenging Ooze, but I just can't really take much more out. Everything else is just so good. Yeah, maybe Chandra out bringing a relic. That's a good idea, actually, Sarge. Um, I think that's about as best I want to do because Scavenging Ooze is amazing with the Venge Vines and the Grave Crawlers. Clothis is, speaks for itself, and the Pillage and the Blood Moons are lifesavers. So, I'll just go for it. I wonder what Blood Blood Raider was going to cascade. Oh, we saw it was Clothis, which was awesome. That was a great find. Uh, you know, I'd keep this as a beautiful hand if there were some lands in it, you know. There's some lands. All right. Put forest on bottom. Go goose. See what he's got. So there's a saga. Right now we got that under control. Is it are we cycles? What's happening here? What? There we go. Alright. Time to hit that. So it's probably gonna be a underworld cookbook right here. I would assume. Why would it be anything other? I mean, that's how I play against opponents, right? They always have the best possible card. He's got one colorless mana. All right, never mind. Wow. Well, he misses on the escalation part. I have no instant or sorcery for him to take. But I can play Arbor Elf and Relic next turn. I don't want him knowing I have another land. So we'll play the Stomping Ground, take the damage, play the Relic. I can get rid of a card. Play Arbor Elf. Play Blood Moon regardless next turn. Unless he has Thought Seize or something. That surprised me. This all of a sudden black mana. Like I forgot Gilded Goose could do that. It's really need to find um you know, um, Collector Oof here would be just phenomenal. If I can get Blood Moon and Collector Oof on the field, would just be crazy good. All right, here's your Blood Moon. I hope. Yep, get a 1-1. One, one. Oh, I messed up bad there. God damn it. <laughs> I could have stopped that from happening. I just forget that's whenever an artifact comes in. All right, I'm ready here. We got to kill Gilded Goose. Because Gilded Goose can keep making food tokens. Yes, I take one. Maybe it's up to two.
Gotta play Season Pyro. Hope we can find me a Bolt. We just gotta kill Goose. Goose is what it's all about right now, killing it. So we can keep this construct somewhat small. Bolt. I think I like Bloodbraid Elf here. The only problem is, is that doing this could potentially cause a problem with the Relic. Come on, Bloodbraid, find Bolt or Stomp. Season Pyro. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess this works, kind of, sort of. All right, there's a Stomp. So we kind of have... Um, looks like we got Goose under control for right this moment. Oh, I can still play my land, too? Okay. Don't want to forget about that. Okay. One hundred percent, one million billion percent, we are stomping on that fucking goose. All right. Pillage two, you better believe it, baby. Uh, I cannot play. Yes, I can play both. Okay, just making sure I can. Uh, stomp on Goose. Creates food. Sure, that's a 3-3. Three, three. I believe Forest is the better one to hit here. So we'll go with that. And yes, I will also... Ah! Ah! Yeah! All right, there we go, a 4-1. A 4-1 to finish the streaming week. All right, got him. Right on. Got food. Woo! All right, a 4-1. Feels good. Feels real good. Uh, how do I get back? I always forget this. There we go. Oh, absolutely, Sarge. It's one of the best things ever. You know, there's really no explanation why it dies instantly whenever Blood Moon comes on the field. The most logical explanation I get is that it's a land that loses all abilities, right? It's an enchantment land. So it becomes a, a basic mountain, um, and it loses all abilities to even become, like, a land? I'm not sure what, what happens there. I, like, when I... My first understanding was it should be a mountain, but then the first time I ever Blood Moon, it just died. I, I was like, all right. I mean, and nobody really knows 100% why that's happening, but it is a correct ruling. Because it's a saga? Well, sagas don't normally die under... It loses the saga chapter, so it sacks itself. I, I mean, yeah, that's what people are telling me, but it's kind of a weird thing. Because it needs to have that first saga to be considered a land, right? It comes in, checks itself for saga one, and then it sees that it can make colorless mana, I guess. And so it knows it's a land, but once it loses that, it's not a land anymore, right? It's an enchantment. I don't know. I, I, you guys are right, but uh, I appreciate it, guys. So that is a hefty 4-1. That was awesome. Felt good. Uh, I think the deck is ready for this Saturday's showcase challenge, whatever it is. Whatever it's called, I'm ready. I'm hype. I got my 40-plus qualifier points. Yeah, exactly, Sarge. There are some that are just like, what? You just have to go with it, you know? Just like when they lied to us. Remember that? They lied to us about... Oh, that's a 4-1, not 3-1. I got to change that there. They lied to us about the Cascade mechanic when... Uh, What's his name? Tybalt. Uh, Valky came out. They were like, oh, yeah, sure. It sees the two mana Valky. But since you can cast that, you can go ahead and cast the seven mana version on the back. I'm like, no, you can't. You can't cascade up. What the hell's wrong with you guys? They only did that to sell Kaldheim packs to older players. That's the whole reason. Was they needed something from Kaldheim to go into the older format. Because nothing came in that I'm remembering. And they were just like, oh, Hey, you can cascade backwards. And we were like, what? And then it just was... It, Modern was ruined for like a week or two. It was terrible. Like, luckily I was playing humans when that happened. 
And so I just name, you know, Tibalt with with uh, Meddling Mage. And, you know, Meddling Mage is so broken. And I won a lot. It was pretty awesome. Because they wouldn't even have any removal in the 75. I'd look at their list, and they would have no removal. Like, once in a while, a list would have, like, Pyrite Spell Bomb. And it's like, cool. <laughs> so, anyways, great stream today. Beating down those sagas felt really good. Uh, defeat tier, I defeated Heliot Combo, Elementals, Jeskai Stoneblade, and Food. Some sort of Food Urza Saga deck. And I, my only loss was to Hammer Time, which is normal. Hammer Time is very difficult for me to beat. Um, but still, 4-1. Really awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Uh, let's get some shout-outs here. Uh, shout-outs to Sarge with his... Uh, 45 year old birthday, 45 years young. Uh, DJ F. Sappy, um, Cylon Supreme, Greens 89, Thek Gage, McBB, JDX the Kid, Manure Butt, the MTG Bot, and the Night Bot for keeping me company. And uh, Cylon Supreme, yeah, it does suck, Sarge. Like, like, sometimes I lose to that. Like, I had to play a league where I lost to that deck three out of five times, right? Like, I played it three times. I played a Living End and two Cascade decks. And I'm almost willing to let them ban the Cascade mechanic. I know I'll take a hit, I'll lose Bloodbraid Elf, and I'll be very angry and salty. But it's worth it if, if that's what's going on. If they're going to allow these, like, just they keep making more Cascade cards... That can cascade into zero mana spells that are way overpowered um, for being cast at instant speed zero. Um, I'm willing to lose the cascade mechanic at this point. <laughs> you know, that's because it's not going to end. It's just going to keep happening. Mistakes are going to keep being made by wizards, and we, the players, will suffer. And uh, I just got to hope that, you know, I look at the top eight of all these online tournaments. And they're almost all the Cascade decks. So I know on Saturday, if I somehow manage to get into the playoffs, I'm going to get absolutely just steamrolled by um, the uh, Cascade decks. Now, I can get Void Mirror. Maybe I'll put it in the side for Saturday. You know, take out like maybe one Relic and, you know, one Anger of the Gods. And uh, bring that in just in case. But we'll see. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you watched on Twitch, please are following. If you watched on YouTube, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. If uh, I won't be back streaming till Monday, which I still don't know what deck I'm playing on Monday. Um, but if you guys uh, would like, but expect on Sunday, I will have the showcase super qualifier challenger, whatever the hell it is. On Sunday, uploaded to YouTube. I don't do those live just because they take literally like nine 10 hours to do so um i don't want to be streaming that long um but yeah i look forward to that and uh i really appreciate everybody coming out today and hanging and chilling um i'd like to remind everybody to stay safe stay cool it's summer and get some good food and spend some time with your sweetheart and uh you know have a good time have a good evening wherever you're at good morning whatever and i'll catch you guys live on monday at 4 p.m Pacific time for mystery unknown deck so i'm deciding so, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. And, of course, peace!